What exactly is a validation vehicle assembly line? Optera has been in the prototype stage for the past few years. On November 11th, 2025, they announced the start of the validation vehicle assembly line. The first real manufacturing process that moves beyond one-off builds. This is a critical step to prepare for the future low volume production line. Currently employees from the CPC group is at Aptera HQ, helping them teach Aptera employees how to assemble and bond the bink, the body in carbon, and the fiberglass body. They are experts at this. And it's nice they are helping them in person for this critical step and setting up for the validation vehicle assembly line. Part of this process is setting up each station that will build the Aptera in the low volume production line. Right now, all the previous vehicles built has been basically prototypes, one-off builds. On the last one, maybe a little more streamlined. But now with the validation, these are going to be structured and repeatable. Critical step to set up for low volume production with scalable manufacturing. And after that, of course, is high volume production. Chris McCannon mentioned on the Aptera owner's channel Discord that those little robots from Aptera a few years ago will be used in the high volume production line. There's no real reason to use them for the low volume production line, but they're still going to be used for the high production line. And the Bink battery and solar assembly is all in college bad right now. At the heart of this line sits a large scale precision assembly fixture. This isn't just a workbench, it's a high tech jig that lets Aptera build its body in carbon with a razor sharp dimensional accuracy. The result? Faster throughput, tire tolerances, and a solid technical baseline for future expansion. On November 7th, Aptera posted a short video showing the Aptera frames being built and they are already on their way to headquarters for the next validation vehicles. I see at least two that Co-Stamp was working on for them. There possibly might be more. Chris Anthony mentioned, for the first time, our technicians will be assembling vehicles along a defined sequence of stations using processes developed hand in hand with the engineers who designed them. The parts are rolling in. Look at all that. That's crates, binks, parts, and chassis assemblies are already arriving at Aptera HQ. The team should be shortly assembling the validation vehicles using the repeatable process. Exactly the kind of data they need to iron out any kinks before low volume and full scale production. Growing the team. To pull this off, Aptera has expanded its operational crew, hiring more engineers and line technicians. The more hands on deck, the faster they can iterate and perfect the line. Steve Frambro said, seeing this line come to life signals the next phase for Aptera. It's the bridge between our prototype builds and the pre-production and series production systems that we aim to one day use to deliver solar mobility at scale. Funding the next step. To move from validation to low volume production, Aptera estimates it needs about 65 million in additional funding. When they secure that capital, they have mentioned it's 9 to 12 months until first deliveries. Why this matters for investors and enthusiasts like us. This is a big milestone. It will be the first repeatable assembly process. It will validate the manufacturing feasibility. It will prove out their technical edge with precision carbon body fixture, higher quality, lower waste, and a lot fewer parts, as you know. Team growth, more engineers, faster problem solving. And as they've mentioned, the capital needed is 65 million to unlock low volume production. And this, once they announce the low volume production has started, there will be a big boost to the stocks, no doubt. For investors, this is a concrete sign that Aptera is moving beyond prototype stage. For fans, it's the moment we finally see solar-powered cars being built the right way with a repeatable process with this validation line. Let me know your thoughts and comments, and I'll see you next time.